This is Magic Mall, the party spark of the J Team. A time extraordinaire, the Cater Raider. This is your boy Chuck C from them Throwback Boys. Stacks on deck. Zone 3 representative. And, and this, this is, is Atlanta, Atlanta rap, rap history. history. You can't, can't know where Atlanta's going if you don't first know your history. Listen, I'm All right, all right, here we are, man, back again, back again, right here at the same, you know, location as last time before, which is going to be Sharon Showcase, you know what I mean? We still, we call it Sharon Showcase, because, you know what I'm talking about? That's what we, that's how far we go back with Sharon. But it's really our ride right here on Cutting the Highway, but it's still a staple right here on the east side, man, in Decatur, man, right here on Riley, Sharon Showcase, man. That's right, it's going down again, another Sharon Showcase Tell me the address. Ride down 20 3875 Covington Highway, Decatur, Georgia. Sharon Showcase, O'Reilly. But right here, man, we got something real special. We got something special. I tell you, we got some. We got some eight-time legend. But see, y'all thinking it's on the rap stuff. It is on that. But we got on legends on a whole nother tip when it come, man. And we talking about them original crankers and geekers up in this thing, man. We talking about them crowd please. Yeah. Yes sir, yes sir. You know, we got my man Poison in the building, the show. And my man A Dog. All right, all right. Now, what y'all don't know or may not know here, these fellas right here, some of the originators of what we call Yeet.
but we go, you know, we go feel y'all in right here. All right, so this really what's going on. They finna first of all let us know exactly where they from, man. Let them know, hey dog, where you from? Well, I'm from Summer Hill. Yeah, you can't get no old school than that. Summer Hill. Hill. Yeah, I'll call it Ralph Davis Avenue. The street. <laughs> when I was young, it was called Hill Street. That's so right. I'm straight from Summer Hill. Hill Street Blue, right? <laughs> How about oh, you, man. boy? I started off on the west side, you feel me, off that stage, moved over to Tony Street, all the way over on the southeast side, from down to, yeah, to the west side, then over there at Big Creek, you feel me, I've been all through that, you know, I got family in the so I mean, I'm, I'm all around, see, I'm from right here, rich, right here, rich, right, already, already, and this is the thing right here, man, what a lot of people don't know, a lot of people that's on the east side, a lot of people came from the west side, Right. To the east side, right. Right. You know? right. and um, I must say this right here: when it comes to Atlanta rap history, when it comes to the music part, the dance part of it, I have to say that the east side play a significant man. You know, what I'm saying like, 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 like spot man in this thing, what we call Atlanta rap history. So we can't, you know, not leave out this east side on this man, because that's where some of the just originators when it comes to the rap, when it comes to the dance, all this stuff come from. So y'all tell me this right here, man. What got y'all together, man, as a group of do dance? Well, it's an entity of actually two groups. Originally, uh, it started back uh, for middle school for me. I was way bigger guy than I was now. Than I am now. I weighed about two two eighty six. So uh, in middle school, I had a group called Fat Back Willie in the game. Of course, I was Fat Back Willie. Okay. <laughs> and uh, and then as we matured, we became the crowd players. Now Mike was in a whole other group okay. called Nine One One. Nine one one. Right. So we was yeah. arch rivals okay. for for a minute. You know right. what I'm saying? And so we end up linking up, and uh, it just felt right, man. And so we merged, and we thirty years later, bro. Yeah. Still the crowd, please. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. I know you say it's four members in the group. So was it two that was in nine one one, and the other two came out of Fat Back Willie? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me see. Hollywood. Another member of the group. He, um, I think him and Adolf hooked up first, but me and him danced for 911 at, at, at a time. And I think uh, I got into a situation when I came back home, him and Adolf had them hooked up. So they kind of pulled me into the situation where I wanted to be in with So we, um, I joined in with you, man. Yeah, we kind of merged the, the whole melting pot of the field. Right, right. The master actually was yeah. a solo. Down. Yeah. Okay. He was a wild head. Okay. And then what happened? Him and um, I don't know if you know the dude, Carlos Kemp, Carlos Kemp. Nine. 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 Okay. Okay. Him and him and Nine was actually finna get into it. It was to get into a physical altercation. And I stepped in the middle of it and I was like, hey bro, y'all let that go. Sell it on the dance floor. So at this point, I'm working at um, Silver Fox. Silver Fox. Silver Fox. Silver Fox. I tell y'all what, I'll set up a battle. And y'all can go at Now, Nine was not only a yika, he was a stripper too. Yeah, he oh, so he knew all the women. So it was a, it was a home court advantage for him. Okay, actually. okay. But it's documented, and I hope Nine ain't mad at him. When I tell you, little nasty, winning him. Uh -huh. And when, when he went in him, I was like, bro, well, I got to put him in the group. I okay. got to. Okay. You know, yeah. Hey, it's too much talent to just let me out there, you know, just freestyle. Bro, Dan, and some. Black shorts, I never get it. Purple shorts and some flip flops inside. Oh, watch out now. Why? I say flip flops inside. You know what I mean? Then, you know, that's that's how you that's how you full circle of the group. Now, we don't actually have two or three other members, but the original original actually is me, uh, Ferris Barber, uh, Patrick, which is called Tadpole, okay. uh, Michael Reeves, okay. and Diego. Those were the original, original numbers. Of oh, the, oh, the crowd, please. Of oh, the crowd, please. Okay. But then over the years, you know, you know a couple of people fell off, you know, stopped dancing. And so when they fell off, they you know, missed up the whole dance circle. One thing about the music culture and the dance, we're doing all the different talent shows. So we see each other all the time. We really okay. family, even though we go against each other. Right, right. So that's why it wasn't never no beef. We just dance against each other. Yeah. Right. And right. I'm like, that's a freaking dance. 
he was, you know, he wanted another situation. Like, man, come on over here, Dad. What up? That's how we locked in. Okay, okay. Now, what, what, what year we talking about? What, what year we talking about right now? Starting well, well, for, for, for us, the original Crown Prince, mm -hmm. we're talking about 1986, 87. 687. Well, a lot of y'all wouldn't even thought about it. Right. <laughs> And you can start it in like in, in 85, 86. Okay, yeah. well, let me ask you this right here. Because I had a conversation with Divine Steve. Uh oh, wow. FTC. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. And what he claimed to be is the original Yika that kind of made up the whole thing of this Yika. So we're going to keep it 100. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep it 100. That's what we're here about. All right, well, he told me he was never a Yika. Wow. I'm considering him a Yika. Wow. He's the words out of his mouth. Wow. You know, you know, I'll tell him to his face. He said, he said well, he was never no Yika. He said he was never no Yika. So, for him being the originator of Yika, that's not true. One of the, now, he was one of the pioneer dancers. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I would give him that. Okay. And, and he's very influential in our culture. In the culture. But we don't, we don't, we don't, you know, we don't read him as the uh, original. Okay. Actually, Anthony Franks. Anthony Franks. That's who we look at one of the Okay. Anthony Franks. Anthony Franks. Okay. But okay. okay. even before them, you got people like Stanford Lightfoot. Stanford. Okay. okay. You know, which is an MC, but he danced in the blue collar cosmic game. That's yeah. actually where it came from. He just wanna be technical. Yeah. So he, 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 he didn't start it. I wanna know myself. He that now, now like, like Francis and, and, and uh, uh Divine, they had some moves that they made up that uh, that we use, I can say was one of the original moves. Okay. Like the fired up. Okay. They started the fired up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it's a moves, but saying they he was the original you can, Nah, that's not what he wanted to make it. Okay, okay. That's just keeping it 100. Well, that's keeping it 100. But I know it's different uh, kind of moves when it comes to doing it. It's like, like, let's just say the triple threat. All right. Hey. For example. Now that's a big part of that yeet because you gotta almost do that before you go into the actual form. Yeet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I got a story with that. Okay. 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 The, the, the people that started the triple threat okay. was Tico and JJ. JJ is a crowd Oh, wow. Okay. They the one run the triple threat into it. Yeah, I get it. So, yeah, I get it right now. But you saw that was you been right. Yes, yes oh, man. There was the a nod and, and uh, uh, Ted. Yeah, okay, right, 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 right. Yeah, exactly. Right. Tarion, a yeah. girl. Yeah, so right. yeah. Now I come up through the ranks myself as a yeah. dancer myself. Yeah. I was in the beta group, you know, at the time. Yeah. And now with our OGs, you know yeah. what I'm saying? We're called your idols. Yeah. And we kind of, you know, did talent show, kind of did with y'all, but not only was it. Sound with the cab. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give yeah. props to my group. Yeah. Y'all had it. We did our thing. I hit the flip. On yep. the stage, <laughs> yep. on the stage, yeah, yeah. Came back in, yeah. 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 yeah, that was your boy, Magic Boy. So you know, we got some real history sitting right here, real talk. But and then another phase of me coming up through the ranks is once I became a member of the J Team, we were doing a lot of the mixed tapes uh, or the show tapes for the day. Yeah. Yeah. So we end up doing a lot of tapes for the Untouchable. Okay. Shout What's out to Ron, Chris, Ron, Chris, yeah, yeah. Brian, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. My, oh, come yeah. on, yeah. Yeah. yes, sir, yeah. yes, sir. So yeah, man. So what I was told that we was the first uh, DJ MC combination, me and Kids and Rock, to actually be live on stage during these talent shows back in the day when we was doing that. But not only, like I say, I come from dance and music. So do these guys, man. Yeah. So not only are they, you know, yeekers, they are also musicians. Yeah, we transferred from dancing because uh, we got our big break um, as far as being professional dancers. Uh, it's a different than doing a talent show and getting on the road and getting paid for it. We got an opportunity to get paid for it after actually uh, the, the guy told you like for it and invited us to a show uh, to open up for him in Alabama. Okay. Not knowing that Outcast the group was at that show. Okay. They seen us. Fast forward, my best friend and our producer, uh, DJ, DJ Swift. DJ Swift. He ended up being the new DJ for our page because the old DJ trans transitioned from being a DJ to a producer. Okay. So I'm in the studio with, with Swift. He said, we're going to go to the studio. He never said where. Mm -hmm. We end up at Stankonia. 
Oh wow. So I'm okay. sitting next to Big Boy and Drake. Right? Big and um, Big and Drake. Well then Drake was like, hey man, I remember y'all. When did y'all dance uh, up in Alabama at a show right now? I'm like, yeah, he's like, man, y'all dope. I got an idea, man. I want to run by you. And uh, I ain't really put this on. So you get an exclusive. Okay. And they'll put this out. Like, for, document it. Okay. This is what happened. Let's so, hear it. Okay. He, uh, he's like, I got a song I want you to uh, listen to and see if y'all can put some, some steps to it. Mm -hmm. So, and that was Rosa Paul. Uh huh. Let's mm -hmm. get first. So that's the first song we danced in, but. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. In my mind, I'm like, man, he ain't gonna call. So all of us stayed together. We, we stayed in a four bedroom apartment okay. behind Greenbrier. Okay. We all stayed together. So okay. when Jam. When Jam. When Jam. He gave he gave me a copy of the music. But I just I just didn't believe it. Mm -hmm. So two days before the video shoot, he called okay. and say, "Y'all ready?" We hadn't made up any practice or nothing. I'm lying through my teeth like, yeah, we ready. <laughs> so the, the blessed thing, thank God, we stayed together. So we crammed and practiced and made up a routine for 48 hours straight. Wow. And call, our call time for the video shoot was 4 o'clock, 4 or 5 o'clock. Okay, okay. The other blessing to that, if you know anything about doing video, ain't nothing on time. There's nothing on time. There's a lot of hurry up and wait. So we get down at 5 o'clock. They didn't shoot us till 2 in the morning, too. Watch out. So guess what they did? They gave us seven, eight more hours of practice. Okay, all right. And we end up shooting the video, you know, wrong with Paul. And from that, they were getting good feedback from the video. So they asked us to do Apollo. Okay. And from Apollo, we've been dancing with them ever since. Wow, wow. Well, I got a little bit of history too now okay. when it comes to Outkin. But Rico Wade. Okay. Okay. Which is also a Yeeker, by the way. Huh? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, you can't get away from it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, you know yeah. what? Yeah. And Sleepy Brown. DJ Lynn. Sleepy Brown. Yeah. Hey, DJ Lynn just told me the other day that they were dancing for success in the fit. Yeah. Rolled up. Yeah. That's what they dance, the Rico Wade. Yeah. Uh, Outcast and Sleepy Brown. Yeah. Okay. Ain't okay. that something? Yeah, yeah. man. Like, like a lot of um, geekers transfer from, 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 from dancing to doing music. For them, you know, you talking about some geekers that find in to, to some of the biggest producers and some of the biggest songs ever. Wow. Right. Yeah. Producers and all. Yeah. So, yeah, man. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, a, it's a lot of Big us. Like, you know, one, of, one of the young bulls. Uh, Akman, you probably wouldn't know that name because he was after us. Akman, okay. he comes, he really comes up under that Chris Chapman tree. Okay. He come up under Untouchable. Okay. okay. He transitioned, and if you look at that um, uh, Rock the Boat video for the Leo, the, the dark skinny dude that the lead dancer well, okay. okay. that's Akman. Okay. He ended up doing all Brit stuff. Mm. So, like, bro, this the A is very influential. Oh, he is very influential. DJ Divine Steven himself, man, you know, putting out Akon, T Pain, T Pain. I was over there on the table up front, man. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we was in the studio at the same time with Akon. He had five, six songs. Okay. So he blew out. They put out that uh, locked up. This was before they hit style. He on the rewrite. And they started taking off, but we got. Yeah, you know how that goes. They go always look for the bigger name. You know, make the song go to the right. So that would happen there. But yeah, but uh, so, so, you guys, man, had a song, man. That was popular in the clubs, man. Oh, I bet you won't get close. Oh, we got a girl. So. Yes, we got oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's it. Y'all made a video for that, man. Yeah, yeah. but and people don't know about our bitch. Now. Yeah. They, 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 they didn't know we did. Right, they didn't even know we did. We're going to get into that, too, because we're going to get into this world of crunk. Okay. We're going to get into this crunk thing. Tell the truth. Yeah, they ain't know that. Don't do some of We're going to get into this crunk a little bit. Because, see, we got somebody who they call the king of crunk. But I'm thinking that y'all record, but I bet you can't get drunk. We can ask you before then. Yes. I bet you won't hear. Yeah. I told you guys to talk about it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All, right. All I can do is tell my truth, man. Right, right. If it, if it, if it rubble a couple of feathers, like, you know. Yeah, hey, it is what it is, man. But what people don't understand, some things uh, when it come out of Donna was here before it kind of branched out. Right. Um, even, and then when I think that people don't even know about it down the music scene, they think it's going to be a holiday. Uh, they don't know no better. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why go we got this show in Atlanta right here. You gotta go back. You gotta, right, gotta right, get a big right. shot shot right. to Shaggy. Yeah, yeah. 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 You gotta go back. You gotta go Come back. Come on, Kilo, Kilo Ryan, yeah. 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 Sam and Sam. Yeah, we teaching them the business. Yeah, yeah. 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 already. Yeah, man. But, so, 
Yeah, yeah, y'all song, man. Like I say, I, I remember seeing this song, man, on uh, on National Network, man. The video mm -hmm. was it BET or MTV? Both. Both. Yeah. Was played that. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. Yeah, cause we we ended up. Uh, that's a fact with that too. That's another story. You got time? I got time. To Let's change. get it, man. So <laughs> out of that labor, purple labor. A couple of ribbons. They went to uh, Sylvia Rome, which was, I forgot the name, was Electra. Okay. They went to Electra to present the artist. It was Killer Mike, it was uh, Slim Calhoun, Society of Soul. They was giving the music for her to listen because they were about to sign the deal. Okay. We wasn't a part of that. DJ Swift, which is our, our producer, was a DJ. He just happened to be at the meeting. With Blue, Big, and Drake. That's okay. the DJ. Okay. So they listen to everybody music, Killer Mike, Sign of Soul, uh, uh, Slam Candle, and she liked all this stuff, so she was impressed with that. When the me, me was over, Swift wanted Blue, which was the manager for Outcast, to hit a, hit a song, which was Got a Girl. Okay. So okay. he played it for Blue at me, thinking Sylvia was gone. Mm -hmm. Sylvia heard the song, ran back in the room, okay. and jumped on the table and started dancing. Wow. And we're like, who is this? Ah, wow. And that's how we that, that's how we got out of this. That's how y'all. We weren't even a part of the equation, it just so happened. Right. You know, that, that just lets you know how God works. Right, right, you know what right, I'm right. She just so happened to overhear the song, and it was like, who is this? I need them too. And that's crazy, because y'all were dancing. Right. So how y'all even up, end up having some music for somebody to listen Swift. to? Swift. Swift is like Swift. Our, 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 our big brother. Yeah, you know, y'all to come in the studio to do this. Right. He was like, man, I want to make y'all a group, man. He said, y'all got the energy. Hold on. Y'all already got the, you know, you got the, the challenge. Let's, let, let's, let's try to produce some songs. And I remember him calling me, because I worked at uh, the lab at this time. Okay. Uh, DJing over there. And I'm, I just had got home about four o'clock in the morning. About five o'clock. My phone was I'm like, bro, what, what you want? He's like, man, you got to hear this track. And he said, I'm going to play this track. It's a part I ain't put in yet. Just listen. So he played the track and he started whistling. Because you know he got the whistle part in there. He said, this go right here. I'm like, what is this about? He said, you ain't going to understand. I got to get y'all together to explain it to you. And tell y'all how I want y'all to write y'all raps. Y'all gonna go back and forth. And I'm gonna split y'all up. I'm like, what? <laughs> so once he explained it, if you listen to the song, you'll see it's two of us, the hook, and then two up, two more of us, but they rapping totally different than the first two. Wow, okay. And okay. that's what he came up with. But he, he a dope producer, and he ended up being a oh, part yeah, of it. Oh, oh, yeah. And loud rap history, man. Oh, yeah. hey, he wanted the first one. Producers, I know that was really, you know, involved, like in the camp. Because me and kids used to pull up on them down at, uh, oh, the scan we got that, uh, um, uh, out there on Stone Road. That was out there. Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean. Yeah. That's when I first met. He had a little setup back there. In the Guess what? Jelly that's the wrong swivel. We're not talking about the same thing. That's not the swivel. And that's a story with that, too. Oh, it's oh, too deep, DJ Swift. Okay, okay. okay. Swift C is what you're talking about. Swift C is what you're talking about. He's behind the wall. You're right. Okay. And then the other DJ Swift, which is, his name, real name is Archie Hall. He's a kid, but that's his name. Okay. They end up finding out about each other. Okay. And it wasn't like getting with no people. We just like, hey, bro, we're going to battle for the night. You know? And. See, this is Lionel Rack history, right here. Come, come and sit and sit. Swift C was Kyle Paul. DJ, DJ Cut Master Swift. That's how he tra transformed himself so okay. people wouldn't know the difference. Oh, Swift single, oh, Swift single. They, they, they was always getting confused when people say DJ Swift. They would think you're talking about right. Swift C oh, and vice wow. versa. Wow. So he started putting the cut messages in front of his name. Yeah. He did, he, he DJ for a group called Nine Millie. Okay. Which is another controversy because they did the original What's Up, What's Up. <laughs> Not Player Puncho. Wow. Love you, Player. But we're gonna keep it 100. That ain't my player pocket. But hold on now. Oh, it was shit. several what's up, what's up, though. That was the original, bro. But that was the very first one. The very first, first one. What's up, what's up? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Now I'm in with uh, uh Master Ryan with the dude with the rapper. You know, it didn't go like it was local. And then player punch on ended up doing heels. Heels. Took off. Right, right, right. So that was the only difference. Yeah, right. Yeah, he had that muscle behind that machine behind. But that was the rip, but but it the original that they did got a lot of play in the club. Okay. Did. 
Okay. But it wasn't back by no by no machine. They were doing this stuff independent. Right, okay. So when Claire did his, ain't no beef like this. You got more than one version of a bunch of stuff. Right. So they don't right. have to it. But then Rob got the Yin Yang twin had a version of it. Well, it was a bunch of them. It was a bunch of them. So right. That's what I'm, that's Claire what I'm just made the right one that got with the right, right. one. Right. So I ain't even mad at it. Right. That's right. how it worked. You know right. what I'm saying? Right, right. So, you know. Uh, mm. Okay. Wow. Now. Like I say, back to that crunk, the crunk thing. Right? Mm -hmm. The word, like I say, here was a big word as far as like what, what was going on in the club, you know, getting people riled up and crunk, you know what I'm saying? So, um, when y'all would make y'all music, would y'all make y'all music get toward for something for y'all to dance to? Because I know y'all got a couple of tempo kind of tracks that they would use for the well, I would say it's, I would say we were made we made it for the dance. I would say it was an influence by our dancers. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like we just made part of music, music what we call part of music, what everybody else called bass music. Right. So right. we were we were bass heads, like we were bass artists. So of course all our songs are gonna be up tempo. Right. So right. I would say it, I wouldn't say we made it. Oh, we want to make this because y'all got something to match. Y'all got something to match. Right. It's not yeah. no tempo. So, exactly. Yeah, right, right. So, but you know, that's speaking, not the transition. Right. That's speaking of Pancho, like I said, that's one of my J team. Yes, sir. Um, brothers, right and there. That's my dog. Shout, hey, shout out to him and check out that show we got on him. We got the interview with him. And we got another interview, right? With another one of my brothers from the J team. And he y'all actually got some songs with him. Nobody named with DJ Smurf, Mr. Oh, Collins Paul. That's y'all call him Collins Paul. Real old school, we call him DJ Smurf. Absolutely. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so y'all gotta, how y'all end up getting into doing music with Mr. Collins Paul, DJ Smurf? Funny. Funny. Well, well I'll let you tell that because that was with the, with the label. Well, we, uh, we had signed with, well, we had been, got with DJ Smooth. When we, after, we did, after we did our bitch, we got us. Uh, we met a kid named John. John, let's just, just say John. Uh, we uh, they wanted. That's when we started the uh, TCP was me, me, Lil Nasty, Savage, and Hollywood. So uh, we signed a deal with this guy named John, and we was putting a, uh, our album together. Smurf was really, he was all real, real cool, and we met Smurf at a club. We just kicked it and put some stuff together and got on song. And he, did he showed up, did his thing. Man, we was on two of our songs. Yeah, y'all watched that song. Yeah. 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 But um, that's what a lot of people don't know. Like I said, they know him, like you said, Mr. College Hall, the exec executive producer of Yin Yang Twins. Um, Soldier Boy, Wobble right, with Big, Big yeah. Wobble with Big, oh, oh, that thing. Oh, right, we did, we, 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 we did a we did a choreography for Wobble. Straight so, up, that, that's another yeah. Like yeah. the, the whole, the hustle, yeah. the whole hustle. Yeah. Right. We made up. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Us and um, uh, Melly Mel, which we call yeah. Sweet Melody from GKTS. Shout, shout out to my city. Yeah. Okay. That's, yeah. That's, we all came together to make that. that, that that's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. Y'all got it, man. These some living legends right here, man. And you know, that's what our show is geared toward, man. Just like say, you know, educate, you know, people on the down rap music. Like I said, they think it started, you know, uh, uh, right at Outkast when it was so much way far past that. And you know, the whole scene of hip hop, just like in New York, you know, you had the DJs, you had the graffiti, you had the uh, break the breakdowns. Yeah. You know, and the elements of hip hop. And we had our elements too. Exactly. Of hip hop. Yeah. And the thing about it, we were doing our music for us and they give a damn who liked it and who listened to it. Right. Like, it for us. It just happened. Because yeah. it's the home of the booty shaking and the money maker. Hey, Got to know hey, that. Hey, Got to know hey, that. Hey. Got to know that. Already. Already. So, yeah, man. Um, man, it's awesome, man. What you guys up to these days, man? Well. You know, I'm, I'm you know, I'm proud of say I'm 54 years old. This man is plus 50. He rose. We still, and we still dance, bro. Like we still <laughs> dance. Hey, man. And it, it, yeah. it ain't gonna, don't look no different from when I was, you know, 22. Oh, no, you, you know, still right. Okay. You know, right. You still get fired up at any point. At any point. And so uh, right now you are mostly our work, like uh with uh, uh six nine boys. Six nine boys. Six nine boys. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We out with them a whole lot of doing. Choreography for whoever wants to play. 
Yeah, yeah. You that's know, right. we want to break bread. You know, we, we still working so. Uh, really. And then we, I know, I'm a part of uh, an organization called UKTL, okay. which is keeping the heat movement uh, uh, going. And we do a thing for the kids every year called Heat Fest. That's yeah. right. It's September the 30th, man. And teaching it's just and you know, teaching you and teaching just and showing everybody, you know, where the heat came come teaching from. And, and this right. year we're gonna do like a uh, competition. We are trying to get like ten groups. To come out and uh, you know, put on their best uh, show, and they have to incorporate 10, uh, 10 heat moves. Okay. And then we get away uh, $2,000, $2,500. Okay. You okay. got to balance so, You know, yeah, this happened every year. This will be our fourth year doing it. That's what's up. Got to balance it. Yeah, yeah right. So we keep it on. Keep and, it moving, you know, man. Keep it going. We actually have a heat documentary getting ready to drop. Okay. And I was so, going to say, right, right now, now that, 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 we're going to look out for that not on the day, y'all. Keep teaching. Yeah, not on the day. And not on the day, man. I'm going to tell you, all these artists, man, today, y'all walking across the stage, man, doing the same thing, holding mic. Y'all need to get, man, with these real yeekers, man. So y'all need to choreography for these younger generation, man, teach them and get them behind some of these rappers to get these people to entertain you, man. Because you walk back on this stage, they was saying, I tried to, but they ain't cutting it for more, man. These rappers, they ain't knocking nobody coming. You know, you get, yeah. you get a check, you get 50, 60, 70, 80, 000, oh, yeah. Who am I to tell you? It's Right. But if you don't want to invest, you know, some money into your show, I'll give you a prime example. Who know they got the hit. I'll give you two examples. First of all, Outkast didn't need no damn. They didn't need it. That's my point. They got a show. But look, Drake and Big had the visionary to say, look, man. Let me get with somebody that can hand my show. Right, um, right. And I give you another one right now. You ain't caught it yet. Uh, 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 new edition. Uh, they got dancers, bro. Okay. They got, they got, I think it's four or six girls. One of the, uh, one of the lead dancers, her name is Desi. We call her Little Dancer. She a kid. Okay. 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 And, and they got dancers in, in their show, so man, you. Got the, if people paying two, three, four, five, six, eight thousand dollars to come see, they come and see a show, bro. I'm gonna give you a better example of that. I was watching the Super Bowl at halftime when we were young, and I said the whole thing wasn't number dance. because she was pregnant, wasn't doing that. It was all about the present of all those dances. That was that presentation. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying, like. To just to add that whole nother element to what was going on to these days is it, it show ain't go it show ain't go hurt. No. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I see it happen before it hurt. Right. You know? People just, just trying to be too cool. They, they, they too cool for school. Too cool. Man, don't want to be on the stage. Right. Don't want to drop no sweat. Don't want to feel like you know they got to do no work. But well, get some people behind you to do it. Right. Well, well, even with that, but see that's, that's what I'm saying. Like I like I can, even if you're not gonna have people behind you, I give you another prime example. Bust around and split stuff. Okay. You watch that show, man. Your move okay, from the out. first yeah. word that come out his mouth yeah. to it end. It don't have, and I tell all the time for some claim because I do work with some artists. And the first thing they tell me, man, I can't dance. I say, they not, I, don't, I don't need you to dance. I need mm -hmm. you to move. Right, it's right, right, right. There's subtle things you can do with words to your song right. that enhance your song. That's you can right. do that if you want to do it. Get all so, senses, goddamn. Yeah. You know, smell, taste, you know, sight, everything. But see, that's because you know, you're an artist. See me, you know, well, you're, you're a real I artist. artist. <laughs> she ain't spraying cologne and perfume like that. Right, right, right. Right, right. 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 You said the movie. smell good. Right. You said the movie. smell good. We come from an era where we would do. Damn near anything to please our crowd. Exactly. That's what I want to do. Crowd, please. That's where the name came from, bro. Because right. our show was based off of uh, you gonna get a show. Like our tape, what we were doing, our outfit with our tape, like everything was combined. Right. With everything you saw was was based off of what we got going on. Right. Well, watching y'all through the years, man, I have to say, man, y'all earned y'all name. It fits perfect, man. Y'all please the crowd, man. You know, it's exhilarating just to see y'all, what y'all do, man, and what y'all bring. And that's from talent shows through the 80s, man, through the 90s. Like I said, I was there. You know, witnessed it, and y'all was part of the inspiration that we want to give that. Oh, that's why I got there and hit that fifth, and I'm going to kill myself. <laughs>
I made it happen. 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 So yeah, man, like I say, you know, we just want to give these guys their flowers, man, right here, and we want to appreciate them, you know, for being on the Atlanta rap history, man, you know, because they most definitely, you know, big part of, you know, the integral part of, you know, the, the, the rap mu music movement, just the whole culture of it and everything, and we want to appreciate these guys, man, much love to them, man, and, you know, um, you know, I know you said anybody spending money, they they, they need y'all, man. Y'all have to give them y'all information, man. You know what I'm saying? What do you get in touch with A-Dog? Uh, you can get in contact with me uh, through IG. My IG is A-Dog Good Stroke. That's one word. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> stroking is the dancing of sure. my feet. Okay, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the stroke is on. I stroke too, don't get <laughs> chased. But that ain't what we talking about. Right, right. Or, or you yeah. can just, you know, you, man, you can Google me, man. You, I'm around, bro. You know, okay. you can hit me up uh, with, through a Geek ATL. If you can't catch me directly, you can go on that page and, uh, and, and catch me up. And uh, we can go from there. All right. Luther, I am. Oh, the boy's a man. Who won with you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. DJ Hyde. Yeah. Get through while you get up. Right. Hey, hey, absolutely. They come as a set. <laughs> no, that. it's four, no, that. but it's still four of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shots out to yeah. Hollywood, yeah. shots out to Little Nash. That's right. It's two or four, two or four right here, man. So, you know, what we're going to do, man, you know, we're going to do what we always do around your time, man. We say, you know, peace up. A-Time Down. Yeah.